Well, terroir, there's not a literal translation in English for the word terroir, and the French love to, to use it. Uh, and of course, I think everybody talks about things like the soils and the subsoils and the altitude and the aspect, the slope and all that sort of thing. I think that's very important. But one thing I've noticed in Bordeaux, as far as terroir is concerned, is it's we've had really dry vintages in 2009, 2010, and again, 2011, up until certainly midsummer. And what you really notice in your, in your vineyards and all around Bordeaux, you really notice the difference in the terroirs in terms of just how much water or moisture the vine has access to. And that's really critical. When you see young vines on gravelly soils, you see they're really parched because we're not allowed to irrigate in any Appalachian controlly area of France. We're not allowed to irrigate. Whereas if you go to say Marlborough in New Zealand, you'll see irrigation everywhere. We're not allowed to irrigate in France. And so the hydric uh, qualities of the soils and subsoils are really, really important in terms of, if you like, providing nourishment to the vine. And you really notice with the leaves uh, and the health of the health of the vine during a very dry growing season, for example.